Mamma Mia, that's a spicy meatball. Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack cracking addiction, and a special video today. That's right, we made it 1,000 subscribers. So, Pat and I weren't sure what any of this was gonna turn into when we dove into cracking packs, making deck techs, and all of the other things we've been trying to do or, or haven't done yet and we're planning for. We, we weren't sure what to expect. Honestly, we kind of gave ourselves a 12 month timetable to uh, hope to grow to maybe a thousand subscribers by then, get the, the watch hours and all the things you need to kind of grow a channel and get things moving. Well, we did it and it's like four months in and we've been able to grow thanks to the help of all of you guys. So um, just everybody who's been a part of this, uh, jumping in and, and, and really sharing feedback, helping us develop, giving us criticism that honestly does help. Um, just the attention, the love, the care, we really appreciate it. A special shout out to all of the patrons too. I mean, that little private forum that we have to speak with you guys one-on-one, -on -one, the things you guys say, it's, it's just really encouraging and it helps us to continue to grow, think about how we do things, think about what things are important, and, and most of all, just have fun. You know, making sure we're a channel that's all about the fun, showing off some things, whether it's a dud and it has to make uh, awesome fart noise, or it's a money maker and we got a spicy a meatball, you know, all that stuff. Um, we just we just thank you guys. 1,000 subscribers. I got a special video for you. It, it might not feel so special because so many of them have happened, but that's right. Another box of Ultimate Masters. And the truth is, uh, you know, this feels a little more special now as the box prices just keep climbing and climbing and climbing. I mean, this has gotten to be a pretty expensive little set to buy into. Um, you know, as, as we hit that 1,000 mark, and we're sitting there now, which is, again, just amazing, we do want to give our, our, our shout-outs, again, to, to help us to keep growing. A few ways you can help us grow, guys. First one is the easiest. Be a subscriber. Hit the thumbs-up button. Those thumbs-up buttons help us to get referred to the rest of the world and have other people witness our content, get a taste of our... You know, our humor, I guess, and uh, just be a part of the program. Uh, also, become a patron. We have a lot of fun with our patrons. You guys really help us out. We'd love to add a few more and crack a few packs for some friends. So check out our Patreon in the description below. And then the last way is just heading over to noblenight.com. And checking them out, you know, making a purchase through them really helps us as well because they've been so supportive of this channel growing and just giving us some of that love as well. So please go ahead and check them out. But without further ado, we're gonna save that box topper to the end and uh, something something else at the end too. So again, a special video. So we're gonna really kind of dive into this. We're gonna take our time, talk about the cards again, like always, shake the pack. Somebody asked about that, the shaking of the pack. Why do I do it? A lot of these packs, I shake it to make sure that little airspace is all the way down and I'm not gonna damage the cards. Especially these Ultimate Masters ones, they open differently, they're a little bit tougher. It's just keeping the cards from being damaged. But yeah, I like shaking the packs too. So first, we start off with an Elemental Token. Uh, old School Rare, that's an uncommon, a foil Mahamoti Jin. And <sighs> Celestial Colonnade, a great rare to start off with. That's right, I should put the foils down here. I'm gonna try to try to be a little bit more organized. So we're gonna put rares, mythics, foils, and move this guy up in the corner then. And we'll uh, save the good uncommons for the, the side over here because we know there's a lot of really good uncommons in this set as well as a couple of good commons. So, man, four months to be sitting at a thousand subscribers is amazing. Uh, we're already talking about what are we gonna do? All right, resurrection foil to uh, what's the next way to celebrate. So we're celebrating this 1000 with Ultimate Masters, of course, because we really loved it. And we credit a lot of the success to Ultimate Masters, but that, you know, what do we do for 5,000? What are we gonna do for 10,000? Starting to have those discussions. And again, it's exciting to have it, and it's all thanks to you guys. Ooh, and our first <laughs> Mythic is a great one, Bitter Blossom with the new artwork that is stunning. This box, this box feels like the right one to crack for a thousand. I, I just feel really good, you guys, about this one. I think we're gonna 
get a lot of good hits from beginning to end, have a lot of fun. I mean, honestly, even when we have a box that flatlines a little bit, we still have a lot of fun opening it. And the best part about us is we, uh, at, least, at least myself, play a lot of Commander, and even those inexpensive cards, they end up being pretty effective for uh, Commander play. So even like things like Dig Through Time that are like a buck is, I I'm always happy to see it. So you got Spider Spawning Foil and Raging Ravine. I do love this man land. I, I think it's, I actually think it's be the only other one better than it is the Celestial Colony. Just real effective, gets dangerous a lot faster than most. And in modern, it's it at least it used to be really deadly, especially in Jun decks. All right, Spark Elemental. We got a Grave Scrabbler. Look at that little blue mouth he's got going on. And Rhea Dawnbringer. So I thought this was the same artwork as the Conspiracy one. It's not. It is new artwork. Weird. Oh, the Angel of Despair, old school rare from Apocalypse. Ooh, Kodama's Reach. We'll make that our first value card for the non-rare pile. Elemental, the crushing canopy, and another mythic. We got Leovold, Emissary of Trest. Love the artwork on that card too. Hope they unban that for Commander. He's, I don't think he's that ridiculous. I don't know. He's very good, but I don't think he's a, oh, the game ends and only you can win kind of deal, so. All right, Elemental. A Prey Upon Foil, big werewolf monster. And Tassiger, the Golden Fang. Ooh, Lava Spike, one of those early uncommons that are really good. Rogue's Passage, Urban Evolution. You know, the other thing I should stop and say too, just uh, just in case you missed the video that talks about it, the, the symbol in Ultimate Masters was pretty sneaky. People didn't realize that this is actually two skulls uh, kind of facing each other, one facing uh, down, one facing up, and not just uh, some guy's tribal tattoo. Neat. All right, we already got two mythics. Man, would love, would love to have a, a big mythic box. You know, just five glorious mythics. Foil Rogues passage, passage is nice. And Maelstrom Pulse, another really good card. See, this is another one. I think it's like five or six dollars or some. Might be mildly disappointed to open it, but I'm like, man, it's really useful. I play Commander too, and it just has a lot of play there. You know, especially against those token decks, or you know, hey, everybody's got a soul ring out and you don't. And you feel sad about it. Maelstrom Pulse. Now you enjoy what you did. You don't feel so sad, and everybody hates you. That's cool. Zombie. Ghoul Caller's Accomplice. Shiny guy. And Eldrazi Conscription. This is one I gotta find a way to play. It is just a really good card. <laughs> Could maybe put that in the Jota deck. Oops, sleight of hand. Another good uncommon. Mainly just looking for the Kodama's, Kodama's reach when it comes to uh, the common slot. I know there's Faithless Looting and stuff like that. Um, I do I absolutely think those will probably climb back up again at some point, but not really putting them aside. Fight, fight, flight of fancy. Look at that guy. He looks fancy. And squee! Goblin to Bob. Let's put him in the mythic spot. You don't, you don't belong there. All right, what are we still waiting for? Noble Hierarch, we'd love to see that. Liliana, I still have not seen a Tarmogoy. All these boxes that we've opened, not one Tarmogoy. Would love to see that. Elemental, Golgari Brown Scale Foil, and Demonic Tutor. I love seeing this. This is one that I was so happy for the reprint. I mean, these things are starting to spike around $25. And man, does it feel good to snake some of those away for like $26. I mean, they're climbing right back up again. And rightfully so. They're really good cards. They cost a lot of money. I get it. So glad they're reprinted and so glad that I've gotten to open a good handful of them. Spark Elemental. Think twice with the glowing eyes. And 
and <laughs> engineered explosives back to back monster rares. All right. And hey, buried alive. We got a good uncommon there. Anything else hiding in there? Hey, Kodama's Reach. Definitely put that aside. <laughs> what else? What else? What else? Man, I'm still, I'm just so hungry for the Tarmogoyf right now. Elemental! Ooh, I love this foil. Woodfall Primus. Again, not worth a lot, but remember, I think this was like 20 bucks before it got reprinted in this set. Partially due to scarcity, but this card is so good. Love a good foil Woodfall Primus. And Glenelendra, another really good one. Actually, so these two, I'm thinking about a deck that could uh, really pay a little, play a little bit off that Persist. So, happy to see both of those cards. Both very, very good cards. Right now, sitting a little bit lower than what I believe in six months, they'll probably end up at. I think they'll be worth a lot more. You gotta be, you gotta be about halfway through the box right now. Maybe a little more than that. Citizen. Molten Birth, another fun card. This seems really annoying in a draft, especially if somebody's lucky with their coin flips. And Revel Arc, mm, not so good. I mean, honestly, it's a good card, just not worth a lot. And not a color I play all that much, unfortunately. Shrai, Chaizo's Caretaker. This is actually a good card, too. I was watching a few different Commander deck techs on a budget version of that. They were pretty entertaining. It seems like that's a card that actually could be more effective than I originally gave it credit. Might have to play around with it. Zombie. Canker Abomination. Another cool foil looking. Looks, looks cool foil. Love the, love, the, love, the, love the tree, folks. Yep. And Tal'ran, the Sky Summoner. Heat Doll. So. Thousand subscribers. What do, what, do, what do we have to look forward to? There is some kind of insane openings that are on their way. Some very unique and weird things. Hey, Merit Lage. Lodge. Luggy. Um, so stay tuned for that. And we're going to start diving into some opinion-based stuff. Things that are opinions on certain cards. What's useful. How to play it. Talk a little bit more than just deck text. But actually, you know, a bit about the mechanics of individual cards. So stay tuned for that, too. We got the Ingot Chewer, shiny shine, and Pattern of Rebirth, another one with some new artwork that is amazing. Therese Nielsen is a serious talent. Songs of the Damned. All right. Come on, time ago life. Tarm, rock this pack. I'll go wild, wild, wild. Okay, I'm done. Fiery Temper. Another cool looking foil. And Daybreak Coronet. Another really good card. Are you a Bogles player? And Pyromancer is a solid card. Got three different Karns looking at me right now from the corner. Wouldn't mind seeing that guy either. Spider. A wild hunger foil. And yes! Alright. Another box with both Noble Hierarch and Engineered Explosives. Who needs mythics? Just get the ridiculous rares. <laughs> Desperate ritual. Good uncommon. Man. Oh okay. Man. Ooh, I feel good. Again, I said this box is feeling good, you guys. We got two solid mythics, really good ones, and then some of the best rares Demonic Tutor, Engineered Explosive, Noble Hierarch. Feeling good. Whoo! The Mandrills Foil. Like this guy. And Vexing Devil. Another really good card. This is the only card that really urges me to get. Hey, Eternal Witness. Really makes me want to get back into modern and play like a Naya Zoo deck because I feel like there's so little love for the, the Zoo deck. And Vexing Devil and um, the, I can't think of the name right now. The new card from Guilds, they just play so well together and it makes me want to build something fast and mean with those guys. Maybe it's still just Jun though, I guess. We'll see. Zombie. 
Treasure Cruise Foil. I love the foiling of this card. Another really good one for Commander. This is probably one of my favorite commons in this set for Commander outside of Kodama's Reach. Treasure Cruise is super good. And Dig Through Time. Again, I'm not sad when I see it. It's a really good rare at instant speed. I'm typically, honestly, casting this for two or three almost every time I play it when I'm playing with my Commander group. So it's, it's just so good. Such a good card. Oh, and Kitchen Finks! I love this pack. This is a really great pack. Put that off to the side. And Chainer's a Dick. Like I said, great pack. I mean, you don't need Monster Rares to get an amazing pack. You just need everything else to be fantastic. Spider. Ooh, a foil ghoul steed. That guy looks pretty angry. Look at that red eye light up. And reanimate. Another great rare. I love Ultimate Masters. Love you guys too. But man, so good. This is such a good set. <laughs> There's no it doesn't shock me that this thing keeps climbing up. What is it right now? 360? 365 a box? Something like that. Maybe you can get some on eBay for like 345 from a guy that made 10 sales one time five years ago or something like that. I mean, it's it's a hard box to get for a good price anymore. And we were all mad when it was 335. Souls Fire. It looks pretty cool. And Spoils of the Vault. I feel like this card should be worth more. I don't know. I could wrong. Oh, the Bogle. Look at that boy. What's he doing? That was creepy. That was real creepy. Why did I do that? Okay. Man, we're getting down to it. I think we're on our last three packs. I really want to see that Tarmogoy. Come on, Tarmogoy. There you are. Nope. That would have been nice. Faith's Fetters locking down that demon. And Dark Depths. Hey, at least we got a third Mythic in the box, and it's a great one. Love the artwork. Look at that man walking on the ice. He doesn't know what's about to happen. It's about to get real bad real quick. Fecundity. Another good card. That Gugari Thug. We'll put that out on the side. Another good one. Okay. If you haven't hit the thumbs up yet, you guys, we're, we're opening an amazing box. Hit a thumbs up, man. It deserves it. This box is crazy. Three solid mythics, some of the best rares we could possibly open. Starting it off with Celestial Colonnade, you know, come on. A generator Servant. And Disrupting Shoal. Oh, okay. Conflagrate. Conflagrate. Conflagrate? Conflagrate. Okay. Last pack of our 1,000 subscriber special thank you guys so much for helping us grow thank you for being amazing thank you for being a friend homunculus oh foil lava spike nice that's gonna have some value especially with the new artwork that artwork is amazing and <laughs> that's a good way to end it lava claw reaches hey i said i like man lands i should deal with what i just got there it's a good card Ah. All right, well, we're on to the box topper, but wait, I got these things right here. Why don't we see if we can get a fetch land quick? It's a thousand subscribers special. What am I waiting for? Why am I holding con specs? I don't know, let's just open them. See if we can get a couple useful uh, things here. All right, we got Mardu, Send and See. You know what I didn't realize in the last uh, the video that I made with the cons, one of the Rakshasa demons uh, did not have its little foil, its little uh, little shiny piece. All right. Where? Utter end. Hey, it's a useful card. Sometimes that's more important than a valuable card. Mm -hmm. Fetch land, fetch land, fetch land, meandering tower shell. I do like this card. Big old turtle that hides on you. All right, let's get to it. The final piece. Thank you again, guys. 1,000 subscribers. 
I, I can't tell you enough how excited Pat and I are, how much we look forward to continuing to grow and entertaining you all in cracking some amazing packs. What did we get? A Platinum Imperion. Hey, it's the way we started. It should be the way we finish it. Platinum Imperion Full Art Box Topper. Well, that gives us four Mythics in the box and some of the best rares we could have gotten. Thank you so much, 1,000 subscribers. We are so excited. Here's to the next 1,000. If you're not a subscriber, join us. It's a lot of fun. Hit that subscribe button. Watch more of what we have to offer. Thank you so much. You guys are the best people in the whole world. This is Booster Therapy. We love you.